Hello everybody, it's Scott Scott here for another exciting episode on Minecraft. Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how to build a little trap for some of your mates on the Minecraft server. Uh, and we can troll them. As you can see I've put some little signs here. Don't go down here, it's dangerous. You might have to keep going. So what we'll do, we'll keep going. And then what we'll do... Oh god, no! What actually happened here? No idea. But it was definitely a trap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we build it. Isn't that exciting guys? Right, first we need to get out of this and buff that. Excellent. So now we're gonna break away this and see how everything works. Obviously we'll have to put it back again because I need to obviously uh, want to make sure that uh, my mates on here fall for the trap as well. So as you can see we've got five sticky pistons on this side and five sticky pistons on this side and you'll notice obviously the redstone is turned off so because what we want essentially to happen is for the, the redstone to be always turned on and only when the person press presses on this it will basically turn it off and then for a few seconds uh, through these repeaters it will stay on long enough so when the player actually walks over here it will obviously turn off and then they'll fall to their doom. So how do we actually do this then? So you can see we've got uh, six sticky pistons here and then we have a bunch of redstone connecting to it. A repeater which with its maximum timer out and then have the exact same setup on this side as well. So a bunch of redstone uh, uh, which goes to a repeater. Now this then goes to another repeater as you can see maximum uh, timer out as well which then goes around oops, around here I had intentionally I was going to have it on both sides but I thought well, actually the problem with that is people might try and jump over it although when they'll see these two uh, pressure plates they'll stop so well, anyway go back we'll I'll come back to that in a second guys and then after that it goes up here and then we will always have not a redstone repeater, a torch. So the torch is always going to be on, right? Until we stand on this and it basically reverses the connection. Turns it off. Go off. Turns it on. And you see, it takes hmm, probably what, one or two seconds. Let's, let's count it, right? One. Hmm. One. Two. So it's about just under two seconds, just enough time for the person to fall to their dooms. Obviously, if we didn't have these repeaters, it would automatically open up and there would, wouldn't be enough time for the person to run over, over this point and then fall to their doom. Obviously, as I mentioned before, there is a reason why we've put this little gap here. One, as I mentioned before, when you're running here, you see you can hardly, you can't actually see the pressure plate, which is great. So by the time they've walked over it, it's too late, right? The other is obviously to slow them down a little bit. We want them to basically stop and then try and keep on going, right? So, as you see, it's a, a nice, simple build. And then uh, after that, what you need to do is make sure that uh, they'll fall to their doom. Because there's no point in having a little trap if they just fall a couple of feet. As you see, I've done all this on creator mode, so it may take a little bit longer if you're doing it on survival. Uh, nevertheless, it shouldn't take too long. It's not a massive project. Um, I've made it all the way go all the way down to bedrock, and then uh, them to fall in a pool of lava as well, in case they do survive it. And then they're gonna, you know, scream and die, and then wonder why or what happened, where they go wrong with life to get to this point. So what I'll do then is I'm just gonna tidy it all up, and that's what you should do as well, because um, otherwise, if you leave it like this, people are obviously gonna work out that uh yeah maybe they shouldn't come down this way <laughs> right let me just uh, put this back and, uh, do this and okay boop, beep, boop. Boop, boop. and let's go like this and one more for the road excellent so what i'm going to do as well um i'll do a nice little recording uh when oh, one of uh, my mates decides to come into this world and I'll just ask them to come and have a quick nose down here and then see if they actually fall for it. 
Unless, of course, they watch these videos, then they'll know all about it. Nevertheless, it's a nice, easy trap to make for some of you other guys out there. If you have any questions, obviously drop a comment below. And if you like the video, uh, like it and subscribe. Anyway, guys, until next time. Ta-ta.